The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your Holy Begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verses from 1 to 7. He will not cry or make his voice heard in the street. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A precious reed he will not break and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not fail or he discourage till he has established justice in the earth. And the coastlands wait for his law. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread for the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it, and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a delight to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungu, from the prison, those who sit in the darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Response are you also. Let your response be. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. When evil doers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my help. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. The Lord is my light and my help. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in Him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. Gospel Acclamation Hail our King, you alone have mercy on us. 
The Lord be with you and, and with your Lord's spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to, to you, O Lord. Gospel of St. John, chapter 12, verses from 1 to 11. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was, whom he had raised from the dead. There they made him a supper. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly ointment of pure, of pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the ointment. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, he who was to betray Jesus, said, Why was this ointment not sold for three hundred denarii and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief, and as he had the money box, he used to take what was put into it. Jesus said, Let her alone, let her keep it for the day of my burial. The poor you always have with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of Jews learned, that he was there, they came not only on account of Jesus, but also to see the Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priest planned to put Lazarus also to death, because on account of him, many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, Jesus is having the meal with Lazarus, to whom he has given the life. Though he is his close friend, as we know, he came to give life when he reached his sisters had said, when you might have been here, my brother might have not died. So, as a close friend, Jesus also wiped. He, he was crying a lot. And then, now that person, Jesus had done the miracle by whom he had received the miracle. The Lazarus was with Jesus. The healer and the healed one are sitting side by side. And when we see in today's gospel, Mary was pouring the ointment. Let us see what is that. The Judas Iscariot says, Lord, if we might have not broken this perfume, you might have sold it for 300 denarii. 300 denarii, how much rupees? Let us go through and let us know what it is. One pound is equal to 327 grams. One pound is equal to 327 grams. And now, in fact, our friend Judas Iscariot had said 300 denarii. What does it mean? If we have 300 denarii, what does it show? Even if a farmer works and gets some money for one year's salary, it's 300 denarii is equal to one year's salary for a farmer. And then for that, Judas Iscariot is saying, we might have received 300 denarii instead of wasting this ointment to Jesus. And let us see, already we are seen in the Gospel readings, 4 and 5. Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 22 says, one denarii for a person. And Gospel of St. Mark chapter 6 verse 37 says, When there was a miracle of multitude, at that time the disciples said, Should we buy and give for 300 denarii? So, at that time also they were, they were longing for the money because to buy the bread for the people. And Gospel of St. Luke chapter 10 verse 35 says, When good Samaritan had taken that person who was wounded, he was admitted in the hospital. At that time, Wood Samaritan had given two denarii to the hospital to take care of him. And, thus, and then Revelation chapter 6 verse 6 says, Four living creatures spoke, said, Buy wheat for one denarii. So these are the scripture background of having this uh, denarii. 
and then Judas Iscariot is saying about 300 denarii for which we might have sold it and then Jesus is telling there the poor is always there but it is a time to glorify the Lord so my Mary had glorified the Lord Jesus was a miracle Jesus is a healer who healed the person who died who who gave the life to the person who is sitting beside of him all those who see Jesus had the life all those who seen the person by whom he was he was healed and he had life they have faith in Jesus because the person who died is alive now so all those who were hating Jesus now everyone is turning back to their hatredness and build and trying to believe Jesus so dear friends let us ask our own self what kind of people we are here when the miracle is taking place are we listening to the Jesus who is doing the miracle or the person who is standing in them around us so and today's gospel also we see that Mary had broken that uh, ointment and he, he was, she was applying to Jesus and what it shows according to the custom of Babylon when the ointment was applied it is for the bridegroom or bride it is their custom and for the Jewish custom when the slave girl anoints with the, uh, with the olive oil in the time of feast and this is totally contradictory of what I said even this was not feast as well as there was no marriage but she had done it it shows that she has turned uh, she has turned from her sinful life not only to her sinful life as well as to Martha and those who belong to her household so if we break that ointment we cannot keep hold everything should be used that is what this this oil this uh, perfume it shows everything what I have all the sins all the hatredness everything I give give to Jesus and Jesus makes me holy therefore in this holy mass let us ask God the Father to forgive our sins let us impart the quality of Mary who had working and who had proclaimed that Jesus is the Lord to, who, to whom she was asking for the forgiveness let us also accompany with Mary and ask the sorry from the Lord and let us receive the pardon from the Lord let us receive the forgiveness let us receive the peace to our life for this grace let us continually participate in this holy banquet let the bones your cross rejoice my tongue shall sing your praise again create in me a clean heart O god I renew our spirit in me create in me a clean heart O god and renew our spirit in me here's my sacrifice to you a humble contract heart O lord create in me a clean heart O god and renew our spirit in me create in me a clean heart O god and renew our spirit in me. Let the bones your cross rejoice. My tongue shall sing your prayer. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your two hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and, and the good, good of all his holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just and due to your salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us to imitate you and your kindness. And we and so we glorify you with countless angels. As with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and the earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew form, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it his desire to say, Check this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis of Pope and Nidhi Nadana Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co haste to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand. As a shelter for all who will call on his name, 
Sing the praise and the glory of God. Could the Lord ever leave you? Could the Lord forget his love? Though a mother forsake her child, he will not abandon you. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand. As a shelter for all who will call on his name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Should you turn and forsake him, he will gently call your name. Should you wander away from him, he will always take you back. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Oh, be Maria, gracia plena, Dominus Deo, benedicta tu, as I kneel before you, as I bow my head in prayer.